Hey, look. Lucy. I don't know why I look so much like like this Caleb, and I, I can't explain why you and Allison think that Sam Morgan is actually this person, Livy. I... That's because you are. Both of you are. You are Caleb Morley, and she is Livy Locke, and somehow you've managed to mesmerize everybody to forget about that. I mesmerized the whole town of Port Charles? Mm-hmm. Well within your powers. And the town of Landview, Pennsylvania, and a little-known organization called the Federal Bureau of Investigation? Those close-minded rubes, you know, they just never quite take the threat of vampires very seriously. Hey, Lucy. You know, if I'm, if I'm so powerful, huh, and able to hypnotize people, what am I doing sitting in here? Huh? Shouldn't I be out there on some kind of rampage? Maybe, just maybe you're buying yourself time for your big master plan. Buying time for what? Huh? Wait... I mean, if, if I have all this power, why, I mean, why don't I just mesmerize Anna into letting me out of here? Just, just letting me go. I mean, for that matter, what did I do getting get caught in the first place, right? This sounds like the worst plan ever. Oh, I just think it's a game. I think you like playing these games because you've lived for centuries this undeserving life, and now you're jaded. You like to play games with the living, torment them to think they can win, or maybe they can outrun you, but this is all just a cruel, cruel game, and cruelty is your main event. What game could I be playing in lockup? What do I have to gain being stuck in here, trying to convince you, trying to win you over? when all the people that you say Caleb is after are all out there! What do you mean the nanny took him? He doesn't have a nanny. She was just here. I mean, she came in and said that she was here for the baby. I don't know. She seemed like she knew Danny. Okay, she who, Rafe? What did she look like? Older, I don't know, 50s maybe? She, she was dressed like a nurse. Well, did she say her name? Susan Moore. Oh my God, Heather! What now? Why do I have to pay attention to Molly? Uh, just only the stuff that comes with a teenage girl dating a teenage boy. You think I have to have another talk with her? She already knows more than I do. I'm late, Mom. I, I gotta run. Oh. Already? I know. Sorry, but I gotta go to prison. Oh, honey, that's music to a mom's ears. <laughs> have a nice day. Love you. Love you. <sighs> Danny's gone! What? She took him and he's gone! Who's... Wh why? Who took him? Heather! Heather Weber! So... We meet again, Detective. How did you come by that baby? He's mine, that's how. No, he isn't. I know that boy. Well, of course you do. He's the baby that you and Commissioner Slim tried to take away from me once before. Well, that's because he doesn't belong with you. He most certainly does. No! He belongs with his mother. Daniels, he's my baby, and I won't let you or anybody else take him away from me again. Oh, really? I left Danny alone just for a minute to get something to eat, and then when I came back, Heather, she, she had taken him, and I don't even know how she knew he was here. All right, Molly, call the police. I'm calling Sam. Thanks, guys. So what does this mean for John? Well, he's not responsible for this homicide, but... It doesn't clear him of anything else. No, but John said he was with Moses when Rafe escaped and Carlson was killed. I know, but now Moses is dead. Okay, John was in lockup. Yeah, but this is PCPD surveillance footage depicting a man, the image of John, like helping Rafe out of the cell. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, well, I think the best person to ask would be Rafe. I mean, maybe he knows what happened with Moser, or maybe he is what happened with Moser. Maybe. Oh, sorry. No, it's fine. Hey, Mom. What's going on? Sam, I have to tell you something. It's about Danny. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for the baby. You've made it so much simpler for me to convince his mother to come with me now. You're killing me. Uh, yeah, that's the idea. Hmm. <sighs> he 
you say, little man? Did you enjoy the show? Oh, you want to get out of here? Well, away we go. Hey. You are not going anywhere with that kid. Give me the baby, John. But I've already become rather fond of him, too fond to give him up. But I assure you, no harm will come to this boy. Hasn't Sam been through enough? Sam, I still haven't gotten used to that. Okay, don't get me wrong. I'm thrilled that you're a crackhead or you're hooked on angel dust or whatever the hell is going on with you. But seriously, dude? You could... You had to throw her in the drink? Oh, you saw that. Yeah, I saw that. You, of all people. You could have killed her. How could you do something like that? It was surprisingly easy. <laughs> there you have it, I guess. You've been right all along. Ladies and gentlemen, the real John McVeigh. I, I don't know what you have to gain by staying cooped up in here. Not a damn thing. But you know who gains a lot by keeping us both in here? Caleb. So if you're telling the truth about him... I am. Okay. And I'm telling the truth about me. Then this has worked out exactly as Caleb had it planned. And he showed up on that surveillance footage, so I'd be taken into custody. No one's looking for him. He's free to do whatever he wants, go after whoever he wants. How, how do I know you're not casting a glamorous spell, just trying to confuse me? To what end? If I'm Caleb, I don't need you for anything. Think about it, Lucy. Well, we're wasting time and air. There are people out there in real danger. People like Rafe and Levy. This is I not true. No, I should have never left Danny go. out of my Sit, study. sit. Now listen to me. You've got to hold it together. You've got to keep it together for Danny and Sam. Okay? Now the police are going to be here any minute. I would like to hear it from you in your own words. What happened? I, I don't know. I mean, it all happened so fast. I just... I don't know. Honey, you got to calm down. You got to breathe. Okay? Now think, because every little detail matters here. Every little piece of information is going to help the police be able to track down Heather and bring Danny back. Now, what did Heather say? I, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You don't remember? I don't know. I wasn't there. Well, Molly, if you weren't there, how do you know Heather took Danny at all? The woman is a psycho. Calm down, stay I am not going to... Just the second time she's tried to take I know, my kid. I know, I have detectives and CSU going over to your mother's house. We can meet her there. Okay? Yes? Wait. Oh, stop. Where? Uh, any, any mention of a baby? So when was this? Okay, we could still catch her. I want all available units dispatched over to Pier 52. Just a minute. Todd and Heather were seen trying to get a boat out of the country. Okay? Sorry. So, uh, contact the Coast Guard. Nothing leaves the harbor. So you saw what I was capable of, and you still confronted me. I'm impressed. Hey, wait a minute, aren't you one of the ones that they're looking for? Aren't you supposed to be on the run? A word of advice, buddy. Keep running. Give me the kid, then I'll run away. Don't play the fool. Too late for that. Look, I've already seen that kid separated from his mother once. I'm not gonna let that happen again. Give me the kid. Last chance. Keep walking. No, your last chance. You give me the kid, I'll give it back to his mother. You let me take care of his mother, all right? Now, bye-bye. We both know I can't let you leave here with Sam's baby. Kindly release your grip on the baby buggy. Or what? Well, you'll no longer have hands to grip with. I'll take my chances. Okay, okay as you want them. So tell me about Caleb. Tell me where he'd go. What... Tell me who he's after. He's at... You're... You are after... Rafe, you, you, you want Rafe and Livy. 
always Livy. I don't know any Livy. I know Sam. That's because I'm John McBain. Why should I trust you? Because I'm trusting you. I'm listening to you. I'm not dismissing you, Lucy, like everybody else. I believe you. You know why I'm doing that? Because time's running out. In case you haven't noticed, this guy, Caleb, he's doing all the winning. So what do you say? We join forces before he claims his next victim. Molly, are you actually sure it was Heather that took Danny? Yes. So you actually saw Heather take Danny? Uh, not in person, no, but I know it was her. Well, how do you know that, Molly, if you didn't see her? I just take do, him? okay? You have to trust me Molly, on this. It's I'm... okay. I don't I don't want you to get in trouble for covering for me, okay? Look, Molly had nothing to do with the kidnapping of Danny. Okay, it was all my fault. This Heather woman just took him from me. Your friends are here, John. I can't wait to tell them what their favorite detective did to Heather Weber. So what's it gonna be?